Hi guys, welcome back. I'm actually going to keep this video short and sharp because I've only got three bags here and I've got some exciting things in here because I have some exciting news. We have, Jeff's just sitting over there, he hasn't seen what I've bought yet either. So I want to show you what little bits I've bought. But, sorry to keep you hanging, we have a new little family member. Come say hi. So this is little schnitzel. And he is the cutest little thing ever. So I've got a few little bits. So he's actually only been with us for what? Three days? Four days? Three days. So he's been, been with us for three days. Um, he's quite timid. But I've had a chance to buy him a few bits and bobs. Some different treats for him to try. So, okay. Let's kick this off. Over here, buddy. Good boy. You want to go to dad? Okay, so let's start off with the cold stuff. I spent $100, which I thought was really good. Um, although we do have quite a bit of food already in the house. Um, so I'm trying to use up what we've got. So in terms of meals, we're having a, a roast for dinner tomorrow night, um, turkey burgers for lunch tomorrow, because my dad and Jeff are doing the city to surf. Um, what else am I cooking this week? We're going to have a beef and hockey and noodle stir fry, some beef ravioli with a parsley and pistachio pesto that I'll make with um, some parsley that I need to use up. I'm going to do this pasta dish with like, uh, my dad's giving me half a cabbage. So I'm going to braise that cabbage in like garlic, butter, chili, anchovies, lemon, and then mix that through with pasta and then do that with a pancreatado topping. Uh, what else am I making? We're going to do sausages, mash, and a veggie bake um, with some veggies I've already got in the fridge. Mm, what else am I cooking? Oh, and the other thing I'm going to make, which might sound a bit odd, is I'm making a cottage pie with baked beans. So with mints, but you add baked beans. So really, it's still like tomato-y. It's just a recipe that I found in like a really old Coles or Woolworths mag. Um, so I want to give that a go because I've got a, a tin of baked beans already and I've got the mince already. Um, but yeah, I think that's everything that I'm making really this week. So let's get into it. This is half price. So I've got some Legos ricotta and vegetable tortellini. That's not the pasta I'm going to use. I've actually already got some beef ravioli in the fridge. I'm actually looking at this because I, I really want to make a minestrone soup before it gets too warm and use the tortellini instead. Um, speaking of minestrone, I picked up two minestrone soups. They're just for work lunches. Um, Jeff's been loving a yogurt in the morning for breakfast. So these were on special. So I got you mangoes and cream, yes. blueberry and cream, and strawberries and cream. There was a peaches and cream, but I don't know. I think the blueberry looks really good. So we've got those. I don't typically buy those because I'm not one to buy full fat dairy, but here we are. Um, we needed some more parmesan, so we got that. Oh, and for this cottage pie, um, on top, instead of doing mashed potato, potato jams. Um, this is my second favorite way to eat potato. First being hash browns. I mean, technically they're mini hash browns. Um, for our roast, I've got a chicken. I'm actually going to use the leftover chicken for work lunches as well to make wraps. Um, I got this because it was reduced to clear. So I've got some Riverina grass-fed lamb mints. So that was about saving $4 or so. So I've got that. Now for the turkey burgers. So Jeff really likes the turkey burgers I make. And I didn't really want to make them. Because um, I couldn't be bothered if I'm honest. But did you know Steggles do turkey burgers? So I bought these instead. Usually I make them myself, but this was a dollar more expensive. And I was like, I'm happy to pay a dollar more if it means I can do less. So I bought that. Then I've got a couple of little doggy things in here. So um, when we bought the dog, they recommended that we feed him pet VIP 100 or something, but I couldn't see that. So I actually bought this nature's goodness, grain free nutrition, growing up puppy loaf 
Now, I like this because it has DHA and vitamin E in it and it's chicken and vegetables. And then when you read the ingredients, like obviously it already says grain free, but a lot of dog food can be like very high in wheat and stuff and like nothing but the best for my little pooch. So I got him that and then I got him a little gulp dog yogurt. How cute is that? So they, so like reading the back, you can give them like one, hang on, what did it say? It says serving either a third to one pouch daily. So we can like break it up over three days and you just put it on their dog biscuits. How outrageous. So this is actually um, dog, like purposeful for dogs. It is 98% fat free, maybe real milk, but lactose free. So with little schnitzel, um, he, his breed, an Italian greyhound, um, their bones can be quite um, brittle, soft. So I'm just trying to make sure that he gets lots of calcium to help for the future. What else have I got? Um, I've got some cleansing wipes. Um, these are for the turkey burgers. I literally mix this with Greek yogurt and that's what I put on the burger with the turkey cheese barbecue sauce. Simple as. Um, so this was marked down to $2.20. Uh, they were sold out of just like the non-organic, which is usually $2. Uh, for the cabbage pasta dish I'm doing, I've bought some anchovies. I've never cooked with these before, but Jamie Oliver does all the time. So I feel like it will be good. Uh, for our mashed potato with our sausages, I got some Coles mashing potatoes. Because I'm now married to an Austrian, I now have a big jar of smoked paprika to go with the big jar of sweet paprika. So this is like, not to be confused, this is smoky sweet and the other one is smoky. No wait, smoky sweet, sweet. And then there's also a hot paprika, which I haven't cooked with, but we go through a lot of paprika in this house. If you have friends or family who are Austrian or German, you will know how much they love paprika. Um, hockey noodles for our stir fry, pistachios for my pesto, panko crumbs for my pangrattato for my cabbage pasta dish. I don't know if that sounds appealing. It's a few fun doggy bits, I'll do that at the end. Uh, I went to Baker's Delight as well. I got the Vienna rolls. Yeah. Um, so when we were in Austria on our honeymoon, um, we would eat like a Vienna roll, or I guess is that, I guess they called that in Vienna? They probably just called a roll. Um, and you just have like cheese, whatever deli meat you want, and gherkin pickles, like ogorki pickles. Um, so we have been loving that at home. So I bought those so we can have those for lunch today. Then for our burgers, I got some bread rolls. I also got some baby spinach. Um, I'm actually going to put that through the ravioli actually, just to get some more veg in there. Uh, and then, how good's this? Uh, so the Woolworths I went to, which was out at Marrickville actually, you can buy the cherry tomatoes plastic free. So that's what I did. I bought them plastic free. And then I've got some bananas. So that is pretty much everything except for the doggy bits I bought. So. Uh, my dogs love these and these are on special and they are high in salt, but I just know he's going to love them. He's going to love them, aren't you, little one? Okay. All right, so we've got some cheesy nibbles, cheese and beef flavor, and they're nice and small for his little, his little mouth. Um, I got some wet dog food for him to try. So I got the Optimum nutrition for life with chicken rice and vegetables for puppy so i actually got two of those so we'll see if he likes those Has, yeah no he's eaten this morning hey and then i also got this apollo um delicate chicken one maybe me being a snob i just feel like he's gonna like the optimum better because there's nothing but the best for my little pooch uh i also bought I thought these would be good for him. So he has, I personally think he has separation anxiety. Jeffrey just thinks he's got a puppy. He's just a puppy. So it's just a puppy thing. I think he's just a bit clingy personally. Um, so I bought him these, these are milky sticks. So again, just keeping on that calcium train. 
Um, they are made with real chicken, but you know, calcium for healthy teeth and bones. You can't find a lot of puppy treats that will take a long time to eat because you've got to be careful of their teeth, that they're not chewing into things too hard. Um, so I really liked the look of these. They also had some, um, I think it was chicken liver treats, or, but it was like the size of an ear. Um, but yeah, I got these. We can't, you can't have too many things. He's got lots of other treats um, already and food. And then of course, we got him some puppy milk. So they can even have this up into adulthood, but it's just really good for strong teeth and bones. Um, the dogs that I've had growing up have always had some puppy milk. So I just want to continue that because I think it's really, really, really cute. So yeah, I am going to leave it here. Um, I know that was a really short video, but I want to play with my puppy. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you liked the brief introduction to schnitzel. Um, and I'll check you around like a rissol and hopefully what will be a longer video next time where I can have a bit more of a chat with you. So yeah, have a great day, night, whatever time of day you're watching this. Bye guys.